Hello everyone, this is Akuchi back with some more Dominion. I'm going to actually be playing my second match of League this season. Uh, I wasn't able to upload the first match, which was against um, a user whose uh, name is 10 consecutive lowercase p's. Um, because unfortunately uh, my audio wasn't working for that recording. Hopefully I've uh, addressed that issue now, and... Uh, be bringing you a league match against J Nails. Uh, I don't think I've played against J Nails before. Uh, he's somewhat new to the scene, um, but he's been in the he's made the top eight in the last two years of the. Um, Shuffle It Championship Tournament, uh, the big annual one that uh, I have not done particularly well in. Uh, so that's obviously good. I think he's also uh, made a trip up to A Division, and uh, now he's back in back in C. So, uh, yeah. Just like me. Although I detoured down to D Division. Decided to see what it was like down there. Okay, what do we have here? I don't see a whole lot going on here. There's no trashing, so I guess we play with Marauder. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's Jack of all trades. Yeah, I guess we play with Jack. Could be Jack Merchant. Wishing Well definitely doesn't go too well with Jack. There's not much that goes well with Jack, to be honest. Ironworks, okay. Merchant, okay. Mm, yeah, I don't know about Marauder. This might just be a pretty... Alright, do we want to keep that? Keep it, get a clean shuffle, or discard. We don't really want to hit four, so this is fine. I don't think we want to hit four. Maybe Marauder's worth it. No plus actions. I think I'll just get a second jack if you get some Marauder. Oh, Midge. That doesn't excite me too much. I guess the idea is you can use it to get a gold later. Yeah, I mean... Nothing's too exciting here. It's pretty... You know... Not very impactful, but it'll, it'll get bought. Thinking long and hard about that card. Doesn't get to trash. That's probably good. Holding on to one estate is not not a terrible thing. 
seems kind of marginal, I'd say. But I will trash if able. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have um, six coins, so we can buy gold, which is good. Nails potentially disagrees. Farmland for Haven. Hmm. I don't think I love the Haven. All right. Five. There's really nothing I want. That's just the way of things. The trouble with pilgrimage is, if you have a gold in hand, how are you? How are you hitting less than six? Seems very unlikely. It's a lot of farmlands. Mm -hmm. Guess we can think about that. So we could go farmland to Haven, but nope. I don't think so. Now I could buy pilgrimage here. We have way more coins than we need for that, but. It would be pretty nice to shuffle in a merchant, a jack, and a gold. Oh, that's frustrating. It's extremely frustrating. Um, maybe farmland is correct now. I can see that. No, I'm just not not gonna get fancy. We have two jacks down there. Two jacks down there. This is a problem with second jack. I shouldn't have gotten it. I mean, havens are kind of nice. But if you see them and then you... If you set aside cards and then you draw a jack, that's... They're less good there. Uh, I might want to keep that.
Exactly eight. I like it. Not eight. I think I'll get a farmland now. Also not eight. Dang it. He could shut down his farmlands. Makes my one farmland weaker, but... So what do I need to win? Kinda just need both provinces. I don't think we're gonna shuffle again. Both provinces is not enough. Oh, I'm in charge of this. Huh. So you have Crossroads Archive. Ghost ship. Castles. Interesting stuff here. Uh, Coven looks pretty important here. That's my estimation, but Ghost Ship, of course, the most important card. Uh, next turn, we will buy Ghost Ship. What should we buy this turn? Nothing terminal. Hmm. I'll probably get Humble Castle, actually. Trash the Hubble, and that's a green card to reveal to Crossroads. Seems pretty good. Yeah, let's do it. There's something to be said for getting an archive here, but I just want this ghost ship pain as, as fast as possible. It looks like it's going to work out. Uh, we are going to want two ghost ships, but I think we want an archive first. I think I'll get a second ghost ship here. Gotten pretty fortunate to be able to hit five on both turn three and four. 
Guess it's not too unlikely. Oh, Coven's a card, too. Amazing. We did want to get Coven's, didn't we? Did he get attacked by Ghost Ship? Still managed to have five. That's annoying. Maybe I slow down his ghost ship. I'm gonna get another ghost ship. I think I'm guaranteed to be able to hit five here. I think I want one more archive at least before I go in for covens. Copper should be fine. We're just hoping we don't draw a ghost ship dead. That's what we we really don't want. Uh, I think silver's not a great card. I've changed my mind. This is a colony game. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. All right, so an archive goes into our shuffle. We're gonna hopefully play an archive next turn. I think I just want to keep keep at these archives. I know Coven is pretty important, but okay. This is uh, gonna be a long game. Very early resign, but I'm not gonna complain. It didn't seem very fun. Oh, my uh, first match, by the way, was a 3-3. Three, three. So, even Steven. Here we've got Trashing and Tomb. In particular, Upgrade is pretty good with, uh, pretty good at activating Tomb. So the draw here, there's draw. We got Ranger, we got Lost City, we got uh, Ghost Town to support the Ranger. We've got City also. Hagler looks extremely strong. I'd love to hit five. Uh, no attack, so no need to get lighthouse in terms of plus buy looks like charm is all we have upgrades pretty good we can open ghost town for a Risky 60% chance to hit 5, but I don't love that. 
Silver seems like a fine card, too. We can get research, I guess. I guess? Could actually open double silver. I don't... I think I prefer research. There are some unfortunate draws we can get. No denying it. Double silver. Well, we're going to try research, because there are some good draws we can get. This is a pretty good draw. We're guaranteed uh, five in our next hand. I think I'll get... Do I get a ranger? Or do I get... I mean, there are a variety of things we can get. Hmm. So we're going to get an upgrade next turn, right? We, we could skip the upgrade for now. And we could get Hagler next turn. Yeah. Yeah. In which case, do we want another research? I mean, upgrade makes these researches pretty, pretty okay. Uh, here we don't get to play the research. Guess we get a ranger. Oh, that's plus by two. Ugh. Whoa. All right. We might have collision next turn. It's probably a decent turn to get a ghost town. I don't think Ghost Town is a critically important card. It's just a nice to have. If they run out, cities are going to be active. It's like we just, all we need is two Ghost Towns, and I think we can manage that. Then we'll feel pretty good. Because we set up the Ranger, a Ghost Town into a Ranger. It's going to let us see 10 cards. Right, we need to pay attention to some, some rat opportunities. Like here we could rat the ranger. But I think playing it's pretty valuable. And we can pick up Lighthouse. Alright, we, we actually we know what those five cards are. And they're not good. Um, we do have an upgrade. I guess we can use that.
on research if we need to. We might still draw like another research or something. This is pretty awkward. Yeah, I'd like to get a five, but I think we need to get a ghost town here. That's what I think. Unfortunate. Oh, I love that. I think. Hmm. I was wondering if we should rat. I don't think so. Ooh, now we're talking. Draw a billion cards. Uh, did we get anything good with eight? We could. We could get Ghost Town, Lighthouse, Lost City, Ranger. I think that's better than Trash and Copper. Could get two Ghost Towns instead. No, I mean, I think if we have Overdraw, we're in a good spot. Yeah, I like this spot. But we do need to find another ranger for us to be in a truly happy spot. So it looks like Jane Ailes didn't get all their good stuff. No, oh, come on, give me a ranger. Yeah, all right. Again, we can't we can't play all this stuff, which is unfortunate, but that's just uh, it's just how it goes sometimes. Still in a strong spot. How do we feel about gold? Do we want one? I think I want one more ranger. I'm unlikely to be able to play it. Probably want another lost city. Maybe we should just um, get a city at this point. Expecting ghost towns to empty. And we want a haggler. So we want a haggler, a city. Uh, I guess a ranger. And what's the other card that we want?
right? There's no synergy with Hagler and Charm. Do I want a gold? The alternative is something that costs less than five. I don't I don't like the things that cost less than five. Probably regret this gold, but I don't know. It's looking pretty, pretty good. Oh, wow. Another pretty early resign. I did have a pretty good turn there. Maybe J Nails had a bad one. But we go up to one after thirty minutes. Ooh. But are we missing plus buy? Nope, we've got duck it. We can't King's Court the plus buy, but we can King's Court the patron or a monument. Looks good to me. Obviously, we open Masquerade, right? Patron, there's a risk, of course, with opening Patron that we draw it dead with Masquerade, but it's pretty unlikely and the upside is pretty high. Having some villagers is just a really nice place to be. So let's hope we don't draw Patron dead. It goes with the Ducket opening. We drew Patron dead. You hate to see that. Um, at this point, I think, oh, Magic Lamp, that's interesting. All right, well, we're going to keep on with the Uniques. Um, what do we have next turn? We have even fewer coins, just three. So we can do the Ducket thing next turn. What do we do this turn? Silver, I guess. So our uniques can be copper, ducat, silver, mask, patron, lamp. All right, that's fine. Pretty unlikely to be in that position. I don't know what the odds of drawing Patron Dead are, but I don't like it. And we probably want a Secret Cave at this point. Might be able to get King's Court next turn. Yeah. Without even using a coffer. Just don't want to draw Patron Dead. It's still unfortunate because we don't get a villager. Wedding, right, wedding. Un 
freaking believable. Great. I think we spend the coffer. It's kind of the best card on the board. Man. Just not catching a break. Not at all. This is about to be resignable for me. What are the odds of that happening? I don't know. Uh, I just want to activate immediately. He's going to play Masquerade. I think if there's any chance that we can, like, activate without playing an encampment, I think it's possible. Like, if we would need to use a discard on Hunting Lodge, I just don't even want to... All right, we'll play an encampment, lose it. I need that gold. 
Or plunder, of course. Alright. We don't need it, but... Sure would be nice. Maybe we shouldn't get fixated on that. There are definitely plenty of ways to get drawn actions without needing the encampments. Encampments are nice, but they're not necessary. Yeah, I think I want King's Court Ducket here. Which means I spend two coffers. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Apparently I have an estate left in my deck. Well, that's something. He bottom decks his gold. Well, I think playing a bunch of monuments is probably the way to go. Got a werewolf in hand. Okay. Don't think there's any attack that really wrecks me, uh, except for locusts hitting my king's court. Hmm. I mean, I guess it would also be really terrible if we got hit with delusion. I mean, he's got to buy a king's court, right? I don't know, he doesn't actually have that many actions. Maybe Monument Masquerade? Double Monument, that's a little bold. Yeah, Misery, misery doesn't bother me. I think I'm definitely not gonna king's head hunting lodge, but we don't need to decide that yet. Um, okay, in terms of draw, yeah, we just get one werewolf here. That's pretty clear. A werewolf and a mask. Bottom deck, my king's card. Which I don't think. I want to leave or anything weird like that. Uh, we could like play the secret cave and discard and stuff, and get another werewolf. That eh, seems fine. Buys. That seems fine.
Could be King's Court Monument Ducket. Still sounds wrong when I say Ducket. I don't know if trashing the coffers is really worth it either. The threat of masquerade is out there, and we're we're eventually gonna get rid of him with mask. Yeah, I don't I'm not in a big rush to do that. Hopefully it doesn't kill my turn. That'd be embarrassing. Well, apparently that's an undo request. I don't know how these things work. Nah, we want to increase our chances of pairing King's Court with King's Court. Just have to get another mask. Yeah, the king is werewolf, and don't think it's possible for us to not be able to pair king king. Maybe it's possible. I would hate to learn that. No, I don't think it's possible. Because, yeah, we'd have, if we bottom decked Hunting Lodge and Werewolf, I think we'd be done drawing, but we'd still find our King's Courts. It's annoying that we don't get to play Masquerade. This looks like he didn't draw one of his ducats. So there are four copper out there in the wild. I have at least three of them. I have all four of them. If I had a mask, he'd be forced to pass me something good. Guess I could have thought of that. Please, it did not freaking... This is brutal. We don't get to attack because of that draw. Ugh. All right, four buys. If we spend some on Ducket and Masquerade, we have 19 left for two buys. Mm. So we're not doing that. really need the bias. We really need the bias. Hmm. Maybe there's not a big rush with the monuments. We don't really need a ton of King's Courts either.
a little bit scary if we don't buy a draw card other than mask. I'm sure I'm doing that. Then I think I want to buy mask and monument, but that's a bit greedy. Maybe it's better to go mask and like werewolf. We can worry about getting more monuments later. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, this looks fine. We're one up on King's Court. One up on Ducket. So we're doing okay. Delusion would be terrible. Ha! Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Don't like being double attacked here. Hook me up with some envy, please. Yeah, Locust doesn't even bother me anymore. No, not really. It's just delusion. Although, like buying three provinces is also kind of fine. What a weird game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he'll force my hand if he gives me delusion. Maybe he's forced my hand anyway. Okay. I think this is okay. Oh no, not war. That actually is terrible. <laughs> I was not worried about locusts, but war is actually worse. Dang. Well, we get to attack twice. Guess we should see what he gives us. Patron. Alright, fine. I wonder if three provinces is safe. I mean, three provinces is definitely safe. Like, four probably isn't. Um, I don't... I don't know, man. I can only pass some good stuff. Like, holding on the coppers just seems like a foolish move. I shouldn't need the money, right? 
Wow, we don't have the monument to triplicate. So we're actually not loaded on money. Eighteen. Yeah, I'm not gonna trash. I think I want all the money that I'm seeing right now. Play in action three times. Don't want a King's Court to remain in play, so we're not playing Secret Cave. Alright, so we're just doing this. Having a monument is really painful here. I don't need more ducats, I don't think. But the upside of taking one... is that I can threaten a pileout next turn. Otherwise he can dance around my ability to pile out. Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of forcing him to buy provinces, aren't I? Maybe not if I don't take the ducat, because... <sighs> if I don't take the ducat, he can just leave piles as they are. Just take some monuments. How am I going to pile, though, If even if I do take the ducat? 15 plus 14 is 29. Going to have that kind of money. I'm not increasing my money at all. I think we're screwed, but what did we end up giving him? Oh, we haven't played the werewolves yet. I think we just take the provinces. I don't think we take the ducat. That hurts a little. That helps a lot. We do have the best card to pass in our hand, so that's cool. Oh, that war. I mean, obviously diluted plus war. I think that was the worst case scenario. I don't think, I can't think of a situation where that wasn't the worst. Yeah. 
It's three less coins. Woo! He got an extra card. He could pass me with mask. Freaking hexes. I think his correct play is to not touch provinces. Doesn't he have a patron? No, oh, he gave me his patron. Okay, that actually, that is a pretty big, that is pretty big. Um, because that's like five less coins that he has. And in like seven turns, he might run out of villagers. So I'm generating as many coins as J nails, I'd I'd say, we're pretty even there, but he's got the extra monument, so three VP each turn. Um, but yeah, I think he's incapable of generating too much more money. Yeah, I mean this is an interesting end game. A lot nicer if I wasn't. If I didn't lose that monument, I would have had three more VP and the ability to get three more. So it's like a six VP swing. He would have been pretty hard pressed to deal with me greening like three turns in a row. Assuming, assuming I could stay reliable. And if he greens this turn, I mean like greening two turns in a row should put me add more points than he can close. That would that was if I had my monument, but in the current situation, if he doesn't touch green, I mean he's also can probably safely take one province. That's probably the worst case scenario for me. He takes one province and like some monuments and a werewolf or something. I think him not taking a single province is good news for me. I don't think I could have spiked. Top deck something, sure. That's just what I top decked. I don't think there's any benefit to playing Hunting Lodge first. We might want that to be kinged. Hmm. Doesn't look great here. Anyway, so what's the situation? Situation. I feel like if I take four provinces, I'm in a great spot, aren't I? I don't think I can do that, but I think I'd be in a great spot. All right, so... Do we just play that werewolf? Or do we king the werewolf? Is that what we're doing? Are we giving up? I think we play Hunting Lodge first and see what happens. Yeah. That didn't help at all. Alright, we'll king it. What have you got for me? Gold. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, 
18 plus 5 is 23. Plus 3 is 26. Plus 4 is 30. That is not enough to buy all the provinces I want. Hmm. He's getting a lot of monuments. He might dead. He bought three encampments. He's probably not going to dead. And a masquerade. So... He's going to be capable of kinging some number of those monuments. So I think... plus 19. Yeah, he can get four provinces also. Also, as in that is something he's capable of being able to do. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy any provinces then. I don't know about trashing this copper. 18 plus 5 is 23. 5 buys. There's this one encampment there, I think. That's an obvious pickup. And a monument. And I have 3 buys. Whatever, we've already seen bad omens. I'm gonna keep the copper. It'd be embarrassing if that wasn't worthwhile. Okay. Um, so, encampment monument brings us down to 17. That should be fine for our purposes. He might technically be able to empty if I lower monuments. Because he is technically capable, with four monuments, of getting, and a plunder, of getting like 11 VP. What to do, what to do. Do we go for the province? That costs 32. Um, the pileout costs 14 plus, say I lower monuments, um, plus 12. to 28. I think I just buy a province. So that's one of the buys. That brings me down to 15 coins. I do the encampment monument thing. That brings me down to 9 coins. So I think we want to spend coffers probably. Well, we can get some masks. Probably just one mask. Mask and cam and monument is nine. Seventeen, so I have six left. Probably like a hunting lodge or something. Mm, 
that helps us pile out. These hexes have really not been going my way. Although by gate taking the province, I make the pile out a little trickier. They can freaking gain in play. Maybe that hurts the straw too much. I don't know. I feel like the hexes are going terribly for me. That's what I feel like. Yeah. Freaking hexes. He starts a turn with a masquerade. Um. Guess I give him the gold. Obviously not giving him King's Court Werewolf or Monument. Gold or Patron. Uh, still no King's Court. Interesting. That could help him win. I feel like there were two lines for him to win, though. It all depends on him not having a great turn here. Freaking hexes. Ugh. It's probably good, I think. On You know, it is probably good that I trashed his werewolf. He has a lot, though. He still has three werewolves. And I think he's got another mask, and he's got three more encampments. How could he not have draw? I mean, it's possible. Just really unlucky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can potentially end it on piles now. King score monument. Duck hit. Got to draw, of course. And we still need quite a bit of money. Not, not a ton, though. 24? Yeah, that's not much. We need to pair King Scored, King Scored, most likely, to get that threshold, but it's not a guarantee. That was some really unfortunate draw for him. Seizes all those ducats. None of his King's Courts next turn is guaranteed to be really good, no doubt. But yeah, maybe that hex uh, ended up being clutch. The werewolf works in mysterious ways. Now I still need to draw, which is not guaranteed. But it's looking good. Raid! We did it. Okay. And we'll King Mask. And uh, we have enough money and buys to end it, I think. Yep. Can even end it on provinces, which is uh, ideal. That was crazy.
All right, we're up 3-1. Let's see if we can take another game or two. We got Encampment Plunder, and we have Save. That's likely to be impactful. There's also a market for plus buy. Excuse me. Um, payload. Nothing too strong here. So probably market plunder looks like the payload to me. I hope see open trading post. Is that the only trashing? Yeah, that's probably worth it. Save for a trading post here. Do I do on four? Don't actually think quarry is all too good here. Yeah, wow. That's nice. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about saving the trading post so that I have five coins next turn. And maybe we get to trash two estates, that'd be cool. Market first is interesting. I can see it, it's a little bit surprising to me, but... Oh, we actually have freaking seven? No, no, no. We don't know how to. We don't know how to count. Do we go for that market? Or do we do the sensible thing and get a stables first? I'd like to be bold here. I think it paid off. Hmm. Got some options here. I do want to quarry eventually, but um, I think it's more important to like get the encampments first, and quarry doesn't really help with that. That's a good play. Dang, we have to play it. I was hoping we wouldn't have to. Uh, next turn is bad. It's just money, right? Oh no. It's just money. 
like a gold, a silver, and three copper or something terrible. But we can save the gold. Alright. Um, let's just get the encampments, you know. They're a good card. And we can save the gold. Save the gold and buy another market. Or a stables. I think market. Or stables. Stables pretty good. Yeah, probably stables. Eventually we're not gonna need stables draw. Then we'll need it again. Probably. Like, how, how greedy should we play? Is, is that's what I'm not sure of. See how low he leaves the encampments? He takes two encampments here, which he's not. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I have time. Well. Oh. If this was a stables, but I don't know which market this is, of course. And we can just save uh, the gold again. It's only mildly unfortunate. I mean, it's good to have the plus buy here. Interesting, interesting. I don't know what Janiel's game plan is. I mean, yeah, you can obviously, you can play without encampment. If you want to get some, you could just get a bunch of markets. Stables and like three markets here. Could be done. Could be done. He's done trashing, is that accurate? Have, hmm, how did this happen? Has he played Trading Post three more times than I have? Doesn't seem likely. Let's see. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Unlikely, though it may seem. That is exactly what has happened. I've uh, well and surely lost this game. I'm uh, stuck with three markets. That's That's all I got. Two markets, excuse me. He's got the rest. Wild. 
Yeah, Band of Misfits as encampment is good while they last. Yeah. Yeah. Another quarry, that seems wrong. There's no, like, payload action, really. You can try to get coffers from Swashbuckler. That's all I see. Obviously, making nobles cheaper is really good. Maybe that's the plan. Just pile out with nobles. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Nobles is the, the motivation to get a second quarry. All right. That's gonna be it's gonna be impossible to deal with. I think I get a stables and two plunder. Then we go in for provinces that are too late, almost certainly. Outrageous. Almost um, able to empty piles here. Is enough to empty nobles. Um, that's 16 VP. I cannot exceed that with two provinces and two plunder points. So I need to hope he doesn't go for the two turn pileout, but like that seems like exactly what he's going to go for. Why not? Yeah, and here you just buy three stables or three bands, whatever. Probably not three bands.
He's leaving it. Yeah, I mean, of course he can three pile. Of course he can three pile. And me, like, returning an encampment doesn't really contribute to that at all. Really? Freaking really? Stables bottom decked. Um, so we could buy an estate. Don't think that changes the uh, the math at all. No, it doesn't seem that way. So he just needs to not dud, which seems pretty, uh, pretty well guaranteed. Since he saved an encampment. Has a dungeon. Has 15 billion actions. Approximately. Oh, he's going to get the treasure chest. No? What was it even for? What was it even all about? Tried to get the treasure chest. Swashbuckler was at the bottom of the deck. Sad. Sad times. So, yeah. Don't think we could have beaten that. We made different decisions. Don't think it was possible. But we played well. Let's see if we can win the last one. It is our start. We have the mouse as, as what? Whoa. That's a good one. Oh, the village was hiding amongst the travelers. Um, hmm. So we've got Alter. Which looks pretty great. Do we still open research is the question. I'm pretty sure the page line is good. Why am I sure of that? Is page skippable? No plus buy. Only plus gains are alter. Huh. Tactician is plus by. But there's no virtual money. Huh.
The warrior attack doesn't really bother me too much. Captain is pretty weak. I mean, to play village twice, but it's not too inspiring. Do I? Am I a madman? Open silver research. Like, surely, if I want silver, wouldn't Treasure Hunter be better? And then it can become a hero? Oof. All right, so, hmm, what is the upside of silver? If we see research on turn three, we're pretty likely to hit six. That's the upside. We're pretty unlikely if we open, like, a traveler. I'm just going to try to skip page for science. Bats could be relevant, too. Dang. We didn't high roll. I really hope that our research finds an estate. That would be most unjust if it didn't. Uh, I don't think I really care about another silver... Okay. So that didn't work out at all the way we had hoped. Alas. Let's just send some pages up the line. See what happens. Um, but yeah, we're guaranteed to hit six here. And I like Alter for that. Alright, looks like neither of us hit the research on turn three action. He didn't get to exchange, so I think we're in good shape. Uh, I think I'm going to buy an altar. Sometimes you just don't get the draws you want. Go play this as a mouse. That didn't do it at all. I keep on going up the line. I probably want a swashbuckler, I think. Um, is the native village option any good? I can imagine a case where you know what's there.
I don't think I want any silvers. I just want uh, potentially I'll play one of these as a hero. And I think I'll keep all the page I just got as a page. Library. Hmm. Hmm. What a nasty set of shuffles. <sighs> ah! Another altar. Yeah. Okay, okay, he's dreaming bigger than I am. I see, I see. I do see. Can I gain anything useful? Oh, I trashed his warrior. That hurts. I'm gonna keep this page. Until the warrior threat is gone. I think I can get behind this library idea. It's pretty wild. I think I'll keep... Mm, nah. I could keep trying to attack, but I think I did all the damage imaginable. Yeah. He doesn't have a warrior? Question mark? So I actually could keep a warrior? Be a real jerk?
and it's really dreaming big. Maybe it's the right thing to do. I don't think I need another library here. Now we could try to draw. We have another altar down there. That seems correct. Does he have a warrior? He's gotta have a warrior. Yeah, let's um... Do we want protection? Not really. Maybe it helps. Alright, fine, it helps. might have an opportunity, one more opportunity to trash his warrior. Or something else good. I'll keep it. Looks kind of sad. Yeah, I need some groundskeepers now. Let's just grab those. We could set aside, but why bother? It's just forcing our hand. Hmm, this looks pretty good. That's a I run out of um stuff. That's just the way of things sometimes. Sometimes you run out of stuff. A lot of mouses. A lot of mice. Whoa! There's a lot of mice.
I'm still not going to be buying any green, and even if I did, well, m micing is, is very pointless, um, but we're going to keep doing it. Do we want to set aside? For what purpose? That's just going to make me think too long. I don't want to think. Could trash the research. All right, here we go. So we can draw five cards. All right, we can make this swashbuckler fully operational, if I'm not mistaken. All right. All right, and we managed to win 4-2, to two, so a good outcome for us. Uh, there will be more Dominion League games in the future. Until then.